How rich was Tuscany at the time of the Medici? Or Paris at the time of Louis XIV? Historical income data is extremely scarce, but it is key to understand long-term trends in economic development. In a recent paper, we combined machine learning methods with data on the biographies of more than half a million historical figures to estimate the historical GDP per capita of hundreds of regions in Europe and North America. Our model explains 90% of the income of an independent out-of-sample data and reproduces well-known facts, such as the role played by Atlantic trade in the development of Western Europe. But why use biographies to estimate historical levels of income? Unlike regional income data, which is scarce, biographical records are abundant. These records tell us about regions that were attractive to famous scientists and artists, as well as regions that were good at developing the talents of their local population. This means that we should expect this method to work no matter if the historical figures contributed to the generation of income or were attracted by local wealth. So how did we estimate these historical income levels? We began from publicly available historical GDP per capita estimates, such as the Madison Project and other sources. We then used an elastic net regression model to connect features extracted from the biographical data to identify robust predictors of GDP per capita levels. Our estimates correlate well with four known proxies of economic development, urbanization rates over the past 500 years, average body height in the 18th century, well-being in the 19th century, and city-level church-building activity in the 14th and 15th century. But can we use these estimates to understand the historical economic trajectory of European regions? Our estimates reproduce the well-known reversal of fortunes between Northern and Southern Europe, and the famous finding by Ajimoglu, Johnson, and Robinson that the trade enabled by Atlantic ports contributed to the development of Western Europe during the 17th century. Our data also provides new interesting facts. For instance, it suggests Madrid was richer in 1600 than London or Paris, and that real income levels in Paris surpassed those of Tuscany only after 1800. Our data also suggest that in 1900, the richest regions of the West were in North America, with San Jose and Los Angeles having higher income levels than London. Understanding economic development is one of the most fascinating challenges of economic history. With the help of machine learning, we can now build new tools that can help us predict and explain the past.